Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about Azure API management components and these are management plane, API gateway and developer portal. Now guys, if you see this diagram, again, we are the consumers who want to consume our API and then of course, consumers will consume our API through Azure API management, right? So the first component is management plane. In simple words, consider that using management plane, we can set up our Azure API management. See guys, basically there has to be some way through which the API owner or creator, he will create Azure API management instance. He will add APIs. He can group APIs in something called products. So again, guys, we will discuss products and all the related stuff in detail in our upcoming videos. But basically all this management stuff that is setting up our API management, we can do using management plane. And again, it can be Azure portal or CLI or PowerShell, etc. Now in this series, we will be using Azure portal to manage our Azure API management. And using management plane, we can set up the policies such as rate limit, quota, etc. And then we have API gateway. So guys, whenever consumer wants to consume our API, it gets consumed through this API gateway only. So request first reaches this API gateway and this API gateway calls the backend API. And so as you can guess, it will cross check all the policies. So for example, whether subscription key is provided or not. So let's say guys, our API is a paid API. So obviously to consume such API, the consumer must provide subscription key. So that is checked by this API gateway. Then it enforces rate limit, quota limits, etc. See guys, using management plane, we set up the policies, for example, rate limit quota and it is enforced by this API gateway. So I will say enforce policies. Then it can transform our request and response. So for example, guys, let's say uh, the response is written by our API gateway to this consumer. And let's say the response header contains some confidential information. So obviously we want to hide that. And let's say we don't want to make any code changes in our backend API. So we can transform such response to hide the confidential information using this API gateway. So basically API gateway, it, it enforces the required policies. And guys, don't worry, even if you are not getting at this point, we'll anyway see it in detail in our upcoming videos. And then finally, we have developer portal. So in simple words, this developer portal, it is used by the consumer to find our APIs, to find the documentation of APIs, to test APIs, etc. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks. Thanks for listening.